Got another AC call. Thermostat is calling for cool. Let's check out our HVAC closet. Water going out, water coming in is the same temperature, compressor's not running. One of our safety switches went off because we have 24 volt going between the compressor contactor. This lockout relay will lock out the system and it won't reset until 24 volt power is disconnected or turned off. You can see our diagram. It's very old and faded, but there's our safety switches on this model. 90% of the time it's going to be the float switch, not the high pressure or low pressure switch, but let's check that first. There's a little bit of water in our drain pan, but it's hard to say when this AC cut off and with the fan constantly running and it's evaporating the water very fast. And since the lockout won't reset by itself, it's just been pulling the water. So let's clear this drain line. This is a water-based water source heat pump. So I'm gonna just gonna use the water from the supply. I've got a washer hose, fits perfectly. Drain line is all the way in the back. As you can see, I got this hose right up. <clears throat> Shove that nice and deep down into the hole. And with one hand, I'm going to hold on to the hose, and the other, I'm going to open the water valve. <sighs> Nothing bad ever happened when trying this. Got water going full pressure right now. Let that run for a couple seconds. We can also clean this pan out a little bit while we're here. Make sure everything's draining good. We're draining pretty decent. There's a little bit of a dip in this line. I don't like that. I'm gonna level this out a little bit. Drain our hose and put this panel back on. I have the power disconnected here, right at the unit. We're still calling for cool. We're still calling for cool because the thermostat is battery operated. Now, before I plug the power back in, I'm just gonna tighten the contactor, a little preventative maintenance, make sure all these connections are tight. Pretty good. Sweet. With these water source heat pumps, you do want to watch the gauges for a couple of minutes as sometimes water creates other problems with the heat exchangers bad. AC troubleshooting part three. I'm gonna be making as many of these as I can. These are not exactly how-to videos, just an apartment maintenance technician, troubleshooting air conditioners. So until the next fix, catch y'all around.